Hello my dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Story Channel videos. Today my dear friends we will have this very very important video about the fuel pumps and as we know all the components of the engine plays a very very big role for the overall performance of the engine. First of all I like to thank you that you have stayed tuned to Adventure Story Channel videos and also you always share the videos and you always like them because you know that this material is very very important for all the marine engineers so they will get involved and they will know as much as possible more information and more tips this is a very very important thing and I really really thank you this beautiful community here we are really really big community and we will be bigger and more stronger first of all my dear friends uh, we will start this interesting video with demonstration of this interesting video. Let's see it together. Let's see it and let's see what the demonstration can show us. Let's compare all kind of fuel pump with the Himsen that I have worked mostly. There is 16 steps in totally and let's see First of all, we remove this cover. These covers always provide us safety from any splashing of the fuel around in the hot surfaces. And I really, really like how the piping and the fuel pumps are really, really attached here. Everything is clear around. Also, the bilge of the pump is clear so we can identify all the hazards and all the leakages, which is potential hazard for fire so dismantling this piping here this piping probably supplies some lubricating for the lubricating of the fuel pump inside it's also very very necessary and also we remove the return and the supply pump from uh, pipes from the pump now we remove the fuel linkage and it's really really interesting how this a linkage attached there is a lot of parts that we can see but i like to say that it's really really nice and it not seems so much difficult than other engines with some pins some lock nuts okay we remove the base locking nuts and one more thing my dear friends here before uh, we remove that one uh, I will share one tip with you okay I will get direct here before sharing the tip okay let's enter here okay uh, I will share when we reach that point we will all the steps and I will share that tip with you which is uh, really really important and will help you to remove the fuel pumps much more easier and without any additional uh, cost of time and also it will be really really safely okay for this kind of uh, overhauling first of all we will need to secure our engine as I told the, in the previous videos and also a very very important thing is to close the fuel <laughs> because if we remove this piping the fuel will be splash and splash around so i will remove the ring and next on i will remove this piping here uh, one thing that we can tell here that through the time because our pump have 120 degrees celsius temperature this uh, lube oil that comes inside here will formulate some deposits inside in the pump so the pumps itself through the time it if it's not be overhauled will formulate some kind of sludges and these sludges can be really really sticky so let's remove also this uh, plug here so here okay we have a really really clean engine in reality for sure there will be some droppings here and also a good solution is to switch off uh, the fuel and switch on the diesel so it will be change over 
so you will have also a cooler engine and also a cleaner engine and it will be really really more easy to clean so let's proceed here Let, let's remove this nut and i will get as much as closer so my dear friends you will have a better view of uh, details okay here we are here we get as much as closer so here we will need the screwdriver and then we will take out this part this metallic part and then also this part here and this part here if you don't remember and you're making this procedure in the first time it's better to have one a camera with you so you will get some images from the steps as i have proposed it before and also this is the tip that i like to share my dear friends for today that if you remove these bolts try as much as possible remove here the cover on the bottom to see if your cam is pressing the fuel pump because if your a pump is pressing the fuel pump these uh, nuts will be under tension and also after after you release them it's probably that your pump will fly over a little bit and this is one thing that you do not like uh, in any case so here open and check that the cam is not press the fuel pump um, and this will help really my dear friends to save time and will be more easy to release uh, these nuts here so let's pick up our fuel pump out okay and lay it down on our wooden plank so let's quickly also make the assembly procedure let's make also the assembly procedure because we have time and i believe also that you are staying here the channel let's quickly do also the assembly procedure so here we are after all things and all items cleaned our pump are inspected and overhauled we are ready to set it back and if you are not able to make overhauling your pump or your fuel valves it's better to set them in clean diesel oil and after two days or one day after they have some cleaning effect to make overhaul them but it's better as i told to change over so your pumps will be flush and will be more clean and more easy to remove them so we will tight the base first of all and also when you're tightening the base back again also check that your cam is not pressing um, the fuel pump so also there is some specific tightening for this base and always follow the tightening torques it's really really important that because if you will not follow your uh, components will be under stress and uh, as we know as the temperature increases the tendency of the metals try to extend and this will produce a higher torque on the components and the components most of the components will be cracked will be damaged and uh, there is a lot of damage which will be occur uh, it's really really important and that is the thing that we are following the torque limits and the torque procedure uh, as the designer made it and the designer my dear friends they really really know much much more things because they tasted for many many hours these items and they have a better and more uh, information about what is going on on the machineries itself so they have also a bigger experience through the service letters from uh, the cases that they have made through the time let's place this bolt here okay let's tie it and also my dear friends try also as much as possible to see if these tubes are free to check them also because you will be 100% sure 
that the lubricating oil is coming there and also you can start your pre-loop pump to see if the oil is coming from there so do not always lie uh, on something that uh, it will be fine it's also good sometimes to take some tests some checks okay i know that this takes a lot of time but uh, this is necessary to do uh, in the most of uh, the time so okay let's screw equally for here for sure also there will be torque uh, procedures for tightening and let's set back the cover okay let's set back the cover and tighten it back but as i tell you before in the previous videos first of all we will test our engine we will see that nothing it's uh, dropping down and nothing from the fuel it's going out and then we will tighten it back and we set our engine for standby always try as much as possible test your engine during the daytime so you able to find uh, any cases and all the personnel will be there alerted around the engine and on the engine room um, so they will be able to detect any kind of unusual noises or they will view something or detect uh, through the inspections so my dear friends thank you that you have complete also this part of training Thank you that you are stay tuned and thank you that you are share the videos and your thumbs is always on the top. See you in the next video. So here probably we will make the total overhauling of the pump and also we will see some details and some items. For sure we will have some tips to share more later on. Uh, I'm waiting you here on this section and on this part of the video. See you again, my dear friends, and bye-bye from Adventure Story Channel.